Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. It's your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Email me directly, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. Today, we are discussing the 41.8 millimeter rose gold H. Moser & C. Venturer Big Date. From the Venturer model line, it lives up to its billing with a big date, though not in a big case. As the timepiece measures a reasonable 14.6 six millimeters, and I say reasonable because most of that is the sapphire. That is its thickness, 48.4 millimeters is the lug to lug dimension, and 20 millimeters is the spacing between the lug horns. Throw it on my 16 centimeter circumference wrist, you can see it has a lot of presence, but it's almost all case with very short stubby lugs, so I can still recommend this watch for a wrist as small as 14 centimeters circumference. Now if you look at the cuff profile, you can see though it's almost 15 millimeters thick, so much of that is the domed bezel and the domed sapphire. So this is a watch that will actually fit underneath most tight cuffs and all, all jacket cuffs. Here's your down the barrel shot one more time, over the top, and again the cuff shot. Taking a look at the hardware and the software, as I always like to say, here we have alligator leather, an upscale fitment from Moser, as they typically fit kudu leather. Alligator, large rectangular scale, semi-gloss, medium brown, monotone stitch. You can see there's a sheer edge showing the cut profiles and the layers of leather used. On the underside, you can see that there is black calfskin, and this is a brand new Moser factory strap. You can also see that a matching Moser rose gold pin buckle is used with a combination of polish and satin handsomely arrayed. Taking a quick look at the case, you can see that Moser cases are made differently than most cases. Most cases are stamped. What we have here is... CNC milling followed by hand finish. That's how Moser manages to get these dramatically sculpted interior lug profiles. So that concave profile with mirrored finishing is achieved by a combination of machining and hand finish. And then you have manual finishing for the vertical satin finish along the case band. As you can see, the space between the lugs also satin finished and the bezel domed and of high polish. Underneath that dramatically cambered sapphire, you can see the dial features a Moser Fume fade. So almost a uh, golden bronze at its center and then almost black at its edge. You can see rose gold indices with a double index of a 12 o'clock, rose gold leaf style hands, minimally adorned. You have the Moser logo, Swiss made, and nothing more. You have sunken sub seconds. There is a there is a hacking or stop second function if you pull the crown out all the way. So you can set the watch precisely to a reference time. And then there is a quick set system for the date, but it is no mean date. As you can see, it is a bi-directionally adjustable date, and that's only the first feature. You can see how there are two discs superimposed right there between the change from 31 to 1. Those two discs allow the date to be a big date, that is, oversized, not two discs, but oversized in its surface area without an enormous dial, because if the date were this big and we didn't have two superimposed discs, just a single ring, the watch would be like that big, and I mean it would be immense. This system was invented and created for Moser by Andreas Streller, an AHCI luminary and a rock star independent watchmaker in his own right. Uh, the date can also not be broken if you accidentally set it during the so-called danger zone around midnight. So it is a very smart system. Uh, you can see that the reverse side of the case is filled up by the caliber HMC 100 movement. A lot to love here. First, it is all manufacture. So the hairspring, the escapement, the balance, the bridges, plates, and wheels. Moser makes all of that. And Moser makes the movement. Moser makes only 1,500 watches a year, so you realize that even their most common calibers give them no economies of scale. Everything is done on an artisanal level. Basic specs, manual wind, seven-day rated power reserve. In fact, it'll run for almost nine before it stops. You can see there are two mainspring barrels. We have three-quarter style bridges. It's not true three-quarter because it's split in the middle for easier service, but it looks like a three-quarter, reads as a three-quarter, and that's a reference to the pocket watch era of Moser watchmaking. You can also see a dramatically extended swan's neck style uh, click spring with satin on its top. That's another pocket watch reference. You can see that it's very modern and balanced architecture, however, with a full balance bridge and a free sprung index for shock tolerance and precise adjustment. There's a case back power reserve indicator, so the watch is a double complication. The hairspring is an overcoil made by hand, so in any position that you like to say the hairspring breathes concentrically. So with centered mass, it's not going to run fast or slow in any orientation. That's the advantage of an overcoil. Now it beats away at 18,000 vibrations per hour, which is a nice steady chugging pocket watch cadence, and though you can't quite see it, the escapement here is entirely 
in 14 karat gold, which is a low friction solution that improves precision, reduces parasitic losses, and extends power reserve. And of course, then you've got the quick set for the date, bidirectional, and the hacking or stop seconds function. So there is a lot to love here. It gets better. The entire escapement balance pulls out as a unit so that when the watch goes in for service at your regional Moser service center, they can drop this sensitive component as a pre-serviced module right in. One module comes out, one module goes in, your watch gets back to you faster, and that's the idea. All of this is 30 meters water resistant, so while it's a sporty dress watch, it's not an aquatic watch by any means. That said, this is a wonderful constant companion candidate. Reach out to TeamAusso at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.